I've just arrived on farm and I'm sitting here with a blog I wrote three years ago and my words were nothing beats mother's colostrum. That is why I have little faith in colostrum placers. I'm going to have to hopefully eat my words today because science has proven me wrong. On this farm in Scotland there is something quite incredible I think happening where they are taking cow's colostrum and they're sending it to Canada and I'm going to show you what actually happens to create a real colostrum replacer and I don't use the words real lightly and I don't change my mind lightly either so we're going to meet George and we're going to find out what's happening on farm. George, good to see you. Thanks nice for to having meet you Tommy, you're thanks very welcome. Thanks for having me in Scotland. So first of all George, thanks for having us here on the farm, an incredible farm. Uh, we're standing in front of the close-up cows, dry cows, and this is the calving pen here. That's it. You're welcome, yeah. I know from talking to you and uh, walking through the farm, it's a high health status farm here. A lot of vaccinations, a lot of feeding. I mean, you can see the cows, a really healthy herd of cows. There's a yeah. lot of work goes into that yeah. cow before she calves down here. Yeah, we, we have got, what you've got, if you swing over, we've got a dry cow diet there. Yeah. That goes in, it's a low energy dry cow diet. Just keep the cow at the, the right level of nutrition that she needs. Yeah and thereafter we're thinking that she's going to give us the best colostrum. And a lot of people wonder, and I was wondering, uh, the first thing is the colostrum goes into the calf. So you take four litres for the calf, and, there's a li and the extra litre or so goes for harvesting. Uh, any colostrum I've got left will harvest it. You said a very interesting thing, you actually use the product as well here on the farm. Yeah. I mean, it's the very first product that we've ever come across yeah. that you can use straight without any problems. We'll yeah. jump to that as quick as we'll jump to her mother's milk. I mean, yeah. this product's geared around something calving and unsociable hours. Yeah. The calf will be born. The minute the calf comes to and it's got itself together, we'll bag the calf. And we're no shy in using the product for the health of the calf, going down to the calf shed. It's, we never look back. Because it, it is this thing, and I talk so much about classroom, it is the building block for the future of the farm. That's where we think this product helps us. It takes away the worry that the calf's waiting for its mother to go to get milk. Did she suckle? Did she no suckle? It takes away that worry. It's lovely to go onto a good farm and, a, and it's somebody who's so passionate about what they do. We're going to go in and have a look at this freezer yeah. now, I think, yeah? Very good. Yeah. Right, George, we left the, the calving shed and I'm just looking in here. Uh, nine litres of one cow's colostrum in here. Yeah. Liquid gold, as we call yeah, it. Liquid gold, yeah. Tell us about the process. This is traceable from the farm to Canada, right back to the shelf. Yeah. So tell us what happens here. We've got a dump bucket here. Yeah. Uh, the cow will come out of the parlour, we will extract the milk from her, bring it through and into the bucket. We'll ID the lid, as in we'll put her number on the lid, date it, uh, put the lid back on and into the freezer. Okay, it's amazing. Even looking in at the colour of it there, um, it is incredible to see it. Yeah. I'm going to put it back in. in the fr My hands are getting cold. I don't know about you, George. Are you getting cold? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Yvine. You know more about this product than anybody. Why is it going to Canada? Because the company there has 25 years of experience in turning the liquid gold into a stable, convenient powder. The colostrum will arrive, uh, we will heat treat and spray it right back into a powder, but we don't take out any fats. So we don't remove any of the important ingredients the calf needs directly after birth. So nothing added, nothing removed, it stays colostrum. Okay. We'll just make it consistent and convenient to use at any time. I think that's why you've got my interest, because it's, it's, it's colostrum. It is colostrum, yeah. yeah. And that's simply it, it yeah. is colostrum. And that is, I mean, the science of that is quite unique. So I'm going to go and have a look at it now and see the actual product for the first time, which I'm very excited about. Sounds good, yeah. <laughs> the reason colostrum is sourced in Scotland is because of its TB or tuberculosis free status. It's also free of enzootic bovine leucosis. Both critical factors when harvesting colostrum on farm. We're just here beside the cows with the colostrum we've been and we have the colostrum here in the bag and we're going to mix it up, it's quite easy um, and I want to see what it looks like when it's made up. Will you pour in and I'll do the whiskey? Yeah, sure. It's like a cooking show or something. I just want to really see what it actually looks like at the end stage. It's quite an easy process and obviously you can really maintain this and keep it clean. Already I can see this, it's quite amazing. It's the colour, it's the consistency of it. It's real colostrum. It's the first time I've seen it and this is quite fascinating. You can actually see the fatty layer on top, can't you? It is, yeah. So yep. that's it. That is, this, this is what we came over to see. And it, look, re it is the real deal. It is just like real colostrum. Incredible. It's been a bit of a journey to get over here, but it's been so worthwhile. That calf lying down there is the future potential of this dairy herd. And its start depends on getting colostrum in the right quantity, quickly, the quality and cleanly. It's very comforting to know that when we need it, 
there is a colostrum that is as nature intended. So this journey has been worthwhile because it's always about science and always trying to help make farming better. <laughs>